Welcome. I'm here together with Thomas Kellermann. He is technical specialist eFactory from Renaissance Electronics. And we will now be talking about Ethernet 5 for industrial automation. Welcome, Thomas. Hello. So, so Thomas, uh, maybe the first question would be, uh, why is Ethernet used in industrial automation? Yeah, it's a big and important question. Um, why generally use Ethernet? Um, the first point is we have a lot of, a various number of uh, field buses. And uh, the target is to substitute these field buses with industrial Ethernet. One common technology that is also well known from uh, office or private networks. Um, and Ethernet also helps to uh, fit all the increasing requirements for the future. Is this also a cost reason to use Ethernet instead of the... Of the course, it is buses? a cost, cost reason uh, because you have one technology, not these uh, various technologies as it is today. Um, but when you use Ethernet, um, you, you have to fit uh, special terms and requirements. This is important. What are these uh, special requirements for the industrial field then? Um, at first, uh, the, a big point is it has to be deterministic. Um, the transmission of the data must be reliable. That's very important. Collisions are not allowed and frame loss really not acceptable. Um, a retransmission is often not possible. Therefore, you have to guarantee a real stable network. Um, um, another point is that you uh, need a predictable uh, data arrival time. Um, and in this sense, also a real time, a quick data throughput, not the important data rate you know from home, but um, a quick throughput of uh, a single frame is very important. An optional feature for industrial Ethernet is um, also PTP, which uh, stands for Precision Time Protocol. And uh, what is uh, Renesas offering to meet these uh, industrial Ethernet requirements? Um, to fit this uh, speed, um, that I've mentioned before, um, we offer um, our files with the lowest latency in the market. We offer the option of a fast link up. So if you have a system that is down or uh, has a link down um, in the system, can be fast start up and set the link up again. Um, also a fast link down detection uh, is enabled. So uh, to guarantee that no frames are lost. Um, so uh, to guarantee and to guarantee this, we, we implemented two important um, functions. This uh, is on the one hand a bit error counter, which can count every um, single bit error, um, and a line quality tracking um, that has a look on the line. Um, it, um, it's, um, it screens coefficients of the DSP. So um, they are directly related to the line quality and the incoming uh, signals. So if there is any interrupt or cable break or something in the line, um, this cable uh, tracking monitor um, would, uh, would see this and can directly set the link down. Um, another important feature we offer is in TDR. If you have any failure or a defect in your network, you can analyze it. Uh, you can find the, 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 the uh, you can localize it where it is and you can analyze it. Um, if it's um, a short or a cable break or something like this. Um, an optional feature that I've already mentioned is um, PTP. Can you explain a little bit more in detail what is PTP? Um, yes, of course. Um, as I said, PTP stands for Precision Time Protocol and it's defined in the IEEE 1588, sometimes simply called IEEE 1588. Um, and it's used to improve the real-time behavior of an Ethernet network, um, especially in, in industrial automation. Um, there are, I think, most two important things. The first is that you synchronize all clocks in your system. Every device has a single clock, and all clocks have to be synchronized. And then you have to, um, the possibility to send uh, frames with timestamps or send synchronized signals. Um, in, a, in a briefly uh, explanation, that's it. Okay. Um, coming back to Renesas offerings uh, in this uh, area, what uh, five devices do you have in the program? Um, 
Actually, we have um, four different fire devices, or mainly two. There's on the one hand a one-channel fire SSP and a two-channel fire SSP. Um, and this PTP, I explained already, is uh, an optional feature. So you can order both with or without PTP. You brought a couple of uh, boards with you, which are here on the desk. Uh, would you please explain what's about that? Yeah. Um, we have some starter kits um, for each device one, one for the one channel, one for the two channel. Um, they are mainly for testing and measurements for engineers um, who, who want to, to test our device. Um, for the starter kits, for the two channel and for the one channel, you have an MI interface and an SMI interface to connect the Ethernet. Um, the optical transceiver is optional. And as you can see, a lot of pins and measurement points you can test. You have also the possibility to uh, test different voltage levels for the MII, for example. And um, the third board I brought with me um, is our demo board. It's only for the one channel device. Um, and it also contains a V850. Um, this is to simulate uh, a PTP. So the V850 brings within uh, the PTP stack. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to evaluate something, um, yeah, this can be controlled via USB interface. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.